So hello everyone, welcome to this new video and I will be explaining the problem double-ended strings. So it is a pretty easy problem uh, and in this video I will be explaining this problem uh, like I will be explaining two methods the big O of n cube time complexity and n square uh, because you know the uh, constraints of this problem is pretty low it is only 20 uh, so i will be explaining both of the approaches so i will be explaining in this video first i will uh, tell you the idea to solve this problem and then i will code it okay so let's understand how to solve this problem from this example okay so for example so this problem is basically saying that how many uh, characters i have to remove from both of the strings from end and uh, front and back such that the string that remains uh, is the longest common substring okay so in this question basically what i have to do is that find the length of the longest common substring substring okay so to find this there can be two method n cube and n square so first let's discuss the n cube one so what i will do is that uh, in the first loop what i will do is that i will start uh, from for example i will come at a okay then i will traverse the second string okay uh, and looking for is there anything that matches a so i won't get any match so i will then go to b and so on so once i reach d uh, I will start probing this uh, traversing this string so once I reach D here what I will see that okay these are matching okay this is my first match so now what I will do is that I will increase the pointer to here and here and get my second match then third match so and then it will be discontinue in the this will this is all happening in the third while the third loop so uh, like this i will get the length of the longest common string as three okay uh, there will be other common strings also but they are not going to be more than three for example ef and ef are going to be of length two so uh, why to consider them and once i am done what i will do is that uh, i will subtract this with uh, from the total length of these two uh, strings so for example suppose these the length of these two strings is uh, let's say uh, 30 okay then what i will do is that i will subtract 6 from it uh, like that, that is 3 into 2 because uh, so i have to uh, the common substrings length is 3 so i have to delete it from both of the strings uh, in order to get the characters that i am deleting so that is the big o of n cube approach so now let's code it quickly it's not going to be a very long code so first of all what i will do is that i will write string s comma t and i will take the inputs s and t c in s and t now what i will do is that i will uh, write a uh, variable let's say longest common uh, string substring is equal to zero and then i will write a for loop so for int i is equal to zero i less than s dot size i plus plus and then i will write another loop up, uh, for int j is equal to zero j less than what t dot size j plus plus and then what i will do is i will uh, so in this i will be traversing the second string so here i will make two variables so int a is equal to i i will just explain it in a while and b is equal to j and i will make another temporary variable let's say it length is equal to zero now i will write a while loop here so here in this while loop what i'm going to do is that i'm going to keep track of the long, the common substring in the present uh, in the current iteration okay so for it i will write if uh, while a is less than what s dot size uh, size and and b is less than t t dot size and and s a plus plus is equal to uh, tb plus plus so as long as all these conditions are fulfilling i will keep on increasing my length so this is the thing uh, s dot size why is this giving me uh, wrong int a is equal to i b is equal to j uh, okay i will just uh, see what is wrong here a is less than s dot size b is less than t dot size int a is equal to a I don't find anything wrong here but anyway so uh, after writing this what I will do is that I will update my LCS so LCS is going to be uh, max of what length comma uh, length comma LCS so I am done right now and in the end what I will do is that I will subtract 
so the the number of strings that I have to delete is going to be uh, c out uh, c out s dot size uh, plus t dot size minus two into lcs and l end of line. So this is the thing. I still don't know what is wrong here. Modifiable variable int a is equal to i and b is equal to j. Let's uh, run it and see if there is any mistake. I uh, will get it in the console. a is less than equal to b a s a plus plus. T oh, sorry. I will. I had to write a uh, double equals here. Oops. I am going to get an error right now. I had to write equal equal. Mm, it is taking some time. Okay. Uh, okay, now it is fine. So I will run it again. Just a second. Mm, what to do? I think I'll have to open it again. Uh, double strings. Come on. Okay. And now I will just run it. I hope it compiles this time. It kind of sucks to wait this long. So it has run successfully. So now let's get into the second way, second method. So the second method, what I have to do is that I will be using the knowledge of longest common subsequence. So to do what, uh, so that will be n square. So to do this, what I will do is that I will just make another function called, let's say LCS longest common subsequence, and that will get me the longest common substring in big O of n square time. So I will just pass s comma t here uh, and I will write another function called int lcs string x comma string y. So after that what I will do is that just uh, I will make a table so int t is equal to uh, int dp is equal to uh, so it is a basically a dynamic programming approach so x dot size size plus one and y dot size plus one and then what i will do is that i will make another variable called res is equal to zero say zero and now i will write a for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than equal to uh, x dot size just let me shrink this x dot size uh, i plus plus for int j is equal to 0 j less than is equal to and here also i had to write x not s or t let's make them s and t only uh, s t s okay what happened okay is equal to t dot size j plus plus and then uh, i will write another condition if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 then my dp ij ij will be equal to 0 and else if uh, say si minus 1 is equal to sj minus 1 uh, is equal to j minus 1 so you know this is a very standard thing longest common subsequence uh, i'm using that knowledge so I, if you don't know, just go and check out Geeks for Geeks. It has good articles there. So in that case, what I will do is that I will update my dp ij to 1 plus dp i minus 1, j minus 1. And else, uh, in case of uh, longest common subsequence, I used to do dp uh, is equal to max of dp i minus 1 j and uh, j minus 1 i but in case of substring see here we are finding the substring so it will be 0 
if the if it is not matching and in the end what i will do is that i will update my res is equal to max of res comma dpij and i will return return dpij so, uh, sorry i will return res so that's done s dot size t dot size now let's i hope it runs let's run this mm, it takes some time compiling but you know so the difference that i have done here is uh, something is wrong here uh, lcs is equal to s comma t return what the hell dp i am uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry i'm so sorry i had to write t here so sorry now i will run it again you know this thing happens when i'm trying to explain and code it again so it has been successful now i will submit it i don't know if it will get submitted uh, i hope it gets submitted the video is already a little bit long loading cookies you know sometimes iit's internet quite sucks getting csrf coding submitting to code forces and running on test 2 it will get submitted i know it verdict accepted in 30 milliseconds so if you have understood the problem please consider subscribing the channel so thank you and have a nice day bye bye